What is up, you beautiful people? I am Mr. Riddlesworth. Welcome to a little product review on the Elgato HD60 device. So, for those of you who don't know what an Elgato is, it is basically a capture device that directly plugs onto your HDMI cable and captures gameplay from your PS4, your Xbox One or any other console you have with a HDMI input. Now as you can see the Elgato is very good at doing the job it was designed to do, capturing images straight through the HDMI pass-through. But however you do have to link it up to a PC or a powerful laptop to get really good performance. If you do not have a, a PC or a laptop with the recommended specs, the capture quality will be really degraded and the frame rates will also be super low and jittery. The software that actually comes with the Elgato, designed to be used with it, is extremely well optimized for such a small device. As you can see up here we have where it tells you that the Elgato is plugged in and to what it is streaming from whether it be PS4, Xbox One, Xbox 360 or the Wii U. Now, as you can see there's no signal because I don't have it plugged in at the moment. Um, as my gaming setup is upstairs, my recording setup is upstairs, my gaming Xbox One and that is downstairs. Here you have tabs where you could add overlays to a video or to a stream and you can preview that by clicking on the TV box uh, and you can basically select either one uh, you can change the scene or you can upload your own if you have one now up here you can stream straight through the device if you so wish uh, you can link up your twitch or your YouTube gaming account and the software basically takes place of your OBS or your X split the software also enables you to select where you want your videos to be saved to uh, whether it be an external hard drive, an internal hard drive or a, a memory stick as you can see here I've got it all in my recording folder on one of my hard drives you can also share it to all your social media or gaming sites uh, or like YouTube um, by syncing up all your accounts which is very very intuitive very useful now one of the biggest downsides of this device is that it has to be plugged into either a PC or a laptop to record to. In my opinion, having it plugged into your PC is absolutely pointless. I mean, the portability of this version of the device is, I think, mainly aimed at those with a laptop uh, or a MacBook, you know, those types of devices. Because if you're going to be using it for, you know, a full tower system um, like this one, there really is no point getting the portable device if you're just going to be constantly using that you might as well settle for the PCI Express version which would not only mean you have less cables to manage but it means it's tucked out of the way and hidden from view now although the HD60 device is useful I think with external capture devices such as the HD60 their biggest drop back is having to be permanently plugged into a laptop or a PC. A recording solutions such as this should come with built-in memory so you could just easily plug in the SCART cable uh, and maybe a power cable just to give it power and have its own internal storage to record footage on. Um, basically hot wire recording so you know it's straight away recording from the screen it's not exporting it and encoding it to a laptop or PC and in my opinion that would make the device truly portable because while you are tethered to a, a PC or a, a laptop you are, you are limited in what you can do with the device uh, you can't go around to your friends with it and you know just record straight footage that you've got with your friends unless they also have a laptop or a PC that their game system is next to and can be plugged into. One of the biggest downsides like I mentioned earlier is having 
your computer permanently next to your game console. Not everybody has this kind of setup. A lot of people like me have a separate place for their home computer, which is upstairs for me, and my gaming console, my Xbox One, is downstairs. So, you know, the whole having to take my computer downstairs or bring my Xbox One upstairs is kind of an issue because while I'm on PC, you know, everybody else is on the Xbox One watching films or gaming and it really takes out the whole point of having a portable recording device. Also, when you factor in the fact that uh, Xbox One and PlayStation 4 have their own built-in capture techniques to their systems, I don't know how it works on the PS4 as I do not own one, but on the Xbox One, if an exciting moment happens in game, um, you can either double tap the home button uh, and select record that moment, or you can plug in your connect and say Xbox record that, and it will record a certain time period that you have selected in the options, whether it be five seconds, you know, a minute or five minutes. It will record that moment for you and upload it so that when you turn on your computer, you, you have access to those moments and you could download them and throw them all together to make a video at your uh, heart's content. Now while the Xbox One's capture method is limited to a certain time period, with all the external hard drives people are, are getting for the Xbox Ones these days and you know upgrading the actual sizes from 500 gigabytes to it's like for me at the moment I have a two terabyte external hard drive for my games and media files and things to go on it won't be long before they develop an option to save game DVRs straight to your external devices uh, for as long as your device has the memory free to record to so all in all while the device is very good at what it does it is very limited by the fact that it has to be permanently plugged in to either a laptop or a PC. In my opinion, the only way that this device would retain its usefulness in the future would be to have its own onboard recording system so it could truly be portable. So, for laptop users, I would definitely recommend this device because it would give you portability of where you do your recordings. However, that does mean that you have to carry your laptop every time you want to record even if you're going out anyway, you've got to take your laptop, otherwise you can't record. But for those of us that are confined to one room, use a PCIe card. There may be less cables, but it does mean that you have to move your console to the room that you need it to be in. So yes, that's it for this product review video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you very much. If you have any alternating opinions, please let me know in the comments down below. We'll have a little chit chat about it all. But thank you guys very much for watching. Much love to every single one of you. And as always, peace out.